Well, it, it just happened. Somebody, when I was real young, 17 years old, somebody actually hired me, paid me to do a relief. And it just that, that was the spark that lit the fire. I mean, from that point on, I never worked for anybody. Hello, I'm Bill Mack um, at Key West Gallery in Key West, Florida. One of our favorite galleries in America. Um, to be honest with you, maybe my favorite gallery of all in America. I think most people know me as a relief artist. When you see one in a gallery, whether it's this gallery or another gallery, there's more than one. So here, if there's a wall full of them, they don't look uncommon at all. When they take it home, put it in their home, it's real uncommon. So when people come in their home, almost invariably they're gonna to go to the relief because it's gonna be different than everything else. So if you've got a lot of street art, current art, you know, whatever is popular, it doesn't make any difference. Relief is just a unique art form. So it's an eclectic uh, concept of art in itself without even talking about the, the imagery. And I think it'll always stand out that way. But I think what you want me to talk about is more of my two-dimensional renderings, which have been a bigger part of my life than I ever intended them to be. I'm essentially, I think of myself as a sculptor. And even when I paint, I, I think dimensionally. Even though this imagery that you're used to, a female, or uh, in this case, some of the images on the Hollywood sign, this iconic images, um, that's because I, I'm thinking with the third dimension as I paint. The Hollywood sign is, uh, without question, the most iconic thing in all of Hollywood history. It was there before, basically before Hollywood. Uh, it was built in 1923, taken down in 1978. It used to be Hollywood land. It was a, essentially a billboard for a, a housing de development. When the land went down, what was left over was Hollywood. It became the, 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 the thing you would look at that, that came up with a name for Hollywood. Uh, it invented that name. In 1978, they took it down, put it in a warehouse, and they stored it there until they heard about me, uh, 30 years later, an uh, artist and a collector of Hollywood memorabilia. And they called me and asked me if I'd like to buy the Hollywood sign. I reacted like any of you would react. Now, how's that going to happen? And uh, how am I going to get it off the hill? And then they tell me all about it being stored in the warehouse. And the, the idea was to take the metal from the sign they proposed, and I would paint iconic images on them, on the metal from the Hollywood sign. The originals are on this nasty old metal. You can see the rust, the holes that were there. I've been doing this job for well over four decades. When I say job, I mean, it's just a job of love. I mean, I think I could do it with somebody else's hands if I lost my hands. I cut my fingers off one time, so I had to think about it. Come on down, say hi. We're, we're, uh, you know, we work in a studio, pretty private by ourselves. And uh, we get down here, we get, we're kind of lonely, so we get pretty accessible. Come on down, have a drink, have some fun, enjoy the art, enjoy the gallery. <laughs>